Here's a robot that looks interesting. Inspired by the natural movements of limbless creatures, a team at SDU Biorobotics has developed a soft robot that's able to navigate complex terrains. The soft robot is made up of a pair of antagonistic inflatable actuators covered in a flexible skin. It uses a combination of asymmetrical steering gates and rectilinear motion to move, using cyclic inflation of its internal chambers to progress forward. Onboard proximity sensors provide real-time feedback, and an integrated human-machine interface face allows adaptive controls to avoid collisions. The study highlighted the importance of bio-inspired soft robots for things like environmental monitoring, search and rescue missions, and industrial inspections. And that's all that it is for, okay? This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. Undergraduate engineering students from Purdue University just smashed the Guinness World Record for solving a Rubik's Cube, landing at an incredible 103 milliseconds, faster than the blink of an eye. Their robot, nicknamed the Purdue Cube, implements a machine vision system that is able to recognize where the colored blocks are and using a special algorithm, works out how to rotate the blocks to reach its solution as best and fast as possible. They also refined the cube so it won't break apart with the acceleration and deceleration of solving. And the movements are optimized for sub-millisecond control. We might be reaching the limit of how fast we can solve these things. It's time for old bone tools. A new study has revealed that as far back as 20,000 years ago, humans living around the Bay of Biscay were crafting a variety of tools from whale bones. A study of artifacts in museum collections across Europe shows that the Magdalenian culture used the bones of whales and other species even before they were actively hunting them. More than 150 tools and projectile heads made of whale bone were found from Asturias to the central part of the northern Pyrenean range. Researchers used two techniques to date the bone tools between 16,000 and 20,000 years. Paleoproteomics to analyze the collagen peptides to identify the species and microcarbon dating to determine the bone's age. Hunting techniques for whales wouldn't emerge until thousands of years later, so the Magdalenians likely forged from whales that were stranded on the seashore. So take that Moby Dick. Seals are playing video games. A research group came up with a pretty unique way to find out how seals navigate the dark ocean's depth with such low visibility. They designed three computer simulations to see if harbor seals determined their heading from optic flow fields. One simulation mimicked a seabed with dots rushing toward the seal. Another simulated the open sea with dots rushing past the seal. And the final simulation mimicked finding the surface of the water with a plane of dots rushing past the seal's head. Three seals watched these simulations on a large screen and then pressed a red ball to indicate what direction they thought they were moving in and they were rewarded when they were right. The seals used the dots to work out the direction they were going even in simulated cloudy dark water with a good degree of accuracy. No word yet on how they like Mario Kart World. Researchers have developed a diagnostic pen to detect the small, frequent hand tremors associated with Parkinson's disease. The pen uses a flexible magnetic tip and ferrofluid ink to convert movements into fluctuations using the magnetoelastic effect. The magnetic flux then produces an electrical current in a conductive coil in the pen's barrel. The pen was used in a study that took the electrical signals and used them to train a neural network to differentiate the writings between a healthy group of 10 patients and a group with Parkinson's disease. The patients were asked to do various tasks like write letters and draw loops. As the patients wrote, the magnetic field in the tip change in movement of the ferrofluid were analyzed. The data was used to train several types of machine learning algorithms and the best performing analysis was able to identify patients with Parkinson's disease with over 96% accuracy. So that seems good. Now here's a hypnotizing new video of a robot sorting packages. Helix is a generalist vision language action model humanoid robot. It uses a single set of neural network weights to learn all of its behaviors. Helix is a series of firsts, including the first VLA to output high rate continuous control of its entire upper body, including individual fingers, torso, head, and wrist. It can operate on two robots, allowing them to solve shared manipulation tasks with things they've never seen before. Robots equipped with Helix can now use natural language prompts to pick up almost any small household objects. Running entirely onboard embedded low power consumption GPUs, Helix is ready for immediate commercial deployment and you can spend an hour just watching this 
if you really want. Robot hands just got creepier. A team has developed a new single-layer multimodal sensory skin made up of only a highly sensitive hydrogel membrane. They cast the hydrogel into the shape of an adult human hand and were able to access 863,040 conductive pathways using electrical impedance tomography techniques, allowing them to identify six types of stimuli, including touch, damage, presses, and local heating. The hand was able to predict environmental conditions, human touch, and was also able to generate proprioceptive data. And to this team, I say, you just gotta hand it to them. And now the amazing IBM Selectric typewriter from 1961. This is the best thing that's happened to typing since electricity. The IBM Selectric typewriter. Instead of type bars, there's an ingenious printing element that dances across the paper at incredible speed. Faster even than the eye can see. Now watch in slow motion as it turns, tilts, and prints. This tiny printing element is also interchangeable. Simply remove one type style. Choose another from several distinctive typefaces. And click it into place. Takes only five seconds. And you're ready to start typing again. Someday all typewriters will work like the IBM Selectric. But why wait?